So I thought I'd do a little uh, rundown here of how I use Quick Load and the OBT spreadsheet. So when I'm doing load development, I try to uh, save as much time and components as I can and barrel life by not sending as many rounds downrange. So what we got here is Quick Load. Now this program, if you haven't seen it before, I highly recommend you spend the $150 and get a copy. It's well worth it. It'll save you that in components in no time at all. So the first thing we're going to do, this is for a 308 Winchester is what I've got set up here right now. So I picked the bullet I picked is the 155 grain Sierra tipped match king in the 308. So you can go into the bullet file here and there's every bullet under the sun you can think of just about. And then same with the cartridge files. They have almost any cartridge you can think of even quite a few wildcat cartridges and whatnot so that's very helpful then you've got all this information here your seating depth shank seat depth bullet length bullet diameter so the what the only ones i really worry about myself is the cartridge length so that's the overall length the tip of the bullet and for this particular bullet in this rifle i was loading to 2.900 inches and that is 40 thou off the lands in my rifle um, the other thing I always try and check if possible is the water capacity that has a really big effect on the accuracy of what this program will spit out to you um, and then yeah so then you pick your propellant I've got IMR 4895 it's one I've used forever and I've always had good luck with accuracy and velocities and whatnot with in the 308. And what I've ended up doing, this is my second round of doing quick load for this cartridge. So I was finding my velocities were quite a bit higher than what I was supposed to be seeing. So then I've adjusted this ratio of specific heats until it matched the what I was seeing on my chronograph for velocities. So that's not the standard uh, ratio specific heat the standard number for that one is uh, 1.2342 I really don't know exactly what that means but hey it kind of worked so it gives you your filling capacity of your case I always like to try and have at least 90% fill ratio and this is 44.71 grains now this is your your pressure estimates 54,000 uh, 492 PSI um, your velocity is estimated at 2902 feet per second now this is where quick load saves you money right here this barrel time 1.279 milliseconds now if you can match that that typically matches a node in your barrel now there's another sheet, spreadsheet I use in conjunction with this. It's called the OBT Optimum Barrel Time Calculator Spreadsheet. Uh, it's available online. I can't remember the web page, but if you Google it, it'll come up. So all you got to do is punch in your barrel length. Like right now, I've got it for 28, which is right for this gun. But if I put in 26 inches, it's going to change all my barrel times. So those are the barrel times I'm going to try and shoot for. So 28 inches, I've got a barrel time at 1.279 milliseconds. And that's where I should be at with this load. So we'll go for, shoot this load over the chronograph. And we'll see what our chrono data reads. Um, this, if you if you're at this velocity, you're probably going to have a really low SD and ES as well, usually. You know, bearing that all your other reloading practices are sound, you're doing good case prep, yada, yada, yada. Um, and usually I would say, it doesn't work all the time for an accurate load, but I would say probably 8 or 9 times out of 10, I can run it on here. And if I get it to the velocity I'm looking for, 
for the barrel time, it's going to shoot that load. You can play with a bit more receding depths and, and you know, 0.1 grains of powder charge and things like that. And that'll tighten it up sometimes and get that SD down a little bit more. But all in all, it's pretty simple to do it this way. It's going to save you a ton of components. Um, you know, yeah, it's a $150 program, but it saved me thousands of dollars in components. And for you guys that live in town or don't have your own property to shoot on, I'm lucky I can go shoot in my backyard. Most people can't. So this is going to save you range trips and a bunch of grief. So all in all, quick load. It's a great program. I, re I highly recommend it. It's really easy to use. There's lots of good tutorials online. Uh, AccurateShooter.com, there's a bunch of really good threads on it there on editing these heat of expansion rate, uh, numbers and your water capacities, all kinds of stuff that goes way further in depth than I ever do with this program. So I just haven't found the need. But anyway, if you're ever wondering about different powders, you can match the right powders of the cartridge on new cartridges, you know, or if you're out of your chosen powder, you can go through and quickly work something up with the powder you may have on hand and not have to go to the shop. So hopefully this has been helpful for any of you guys that were wondering about quick load and uh, have a good one.